how to apply joints to my worktops. So obviously I've got a basic design here, just an L-shaped kitchen. Um, and we're going to apply some worktops via the auto features, which is located in the insert tab. Okay, so yeah, insert, and then we've got auto features. So yeah, I'm going to deselect everything, just leave worktop enabled, and leave the edit worktop button selectors. As I said, I've just got generic universal kitchens catalog. Just going to apply the worktop. Most people are familiar with the first stage where you can drag and extend the worktop. Obviously, the, the second stage of auto features is where you can insert and apply your joints. Especially when using manufacturer's catalogs, it's quite important to apply the joints. You've got your different tools here. You've got the auto joint, which most of the time will automatically apply it for you. Or you've got your manual tools. Um, and if you can see, as I'm flicking through the tools, you'll see red triangles or red dots. Um, these are sort of different points throughout the work to where we can apply a joint. Um, and you've also got your grain direction as well, the grain direction. I'm going to use this tool here for, for the corner joint. As you can see, it's a red dot. Click on the red dot, and we can now choose where the joint goes. It gives us three options. Um, let's choose the top one, and then you can hit Apply, and then Next Stage. Um, I would always advise to use Auto Joint, but if you've got the more sort of complex, complicated worktops, then it would be easier to manually join it yourselves.